Alright ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kennedy and yes, welcome back to a brand new video and today we're actually going to be playing a game rather than talking about one, that's right, because what I've noticed recently right is that every time I cover a new game, so either on a new, like a, a new survival horror or an upcoming RPG video, I cover new games or upcoming games all the time and then these games have slowly started to come out more at an RPG that has came out and most recently, Encased, a sci-fi post-apocalyptic RPG, has also came out. Now with this game I actually was quite excited for it, I was actually really hyped for it because it's inspired by the likes of the classic Fallout games and for Baldur's Gate as well. So I've been really eager to play, I've been really eager to dive right into it and I've always said hey, uh, I, I really want to play these games and I never ever make videos on them for the channel. Uh, to be fair with the injection, uh, with the injection game, I said hey I'm gonna make a review I never did. <laughs> I'm just going to be playing the games and then giving you my thoughts anyway, so fuck it. You remember how it all oh, started. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that the is The year was right. 1971. The dome was discovered in a remote desert. A gigantic structure. See, this reminds me so much of like the uh, like the Discovery Channel documentaries. The, the guy has like this spot on voice for it. I may have accidentally skipped the cutscene because <laughs> I tabbed out. Uh, that was an oops, it's fine, I've already watched the cutscene, if you want to know what happens, then watch the upcoming RPG video, there you go. But yes, we're on to the creating our characters. By the way, I have played the very, like, the first hour of this game, so I do know a wee bit. Well, uh, technically, I am a male, <laughs> but I have the body type of a female. Right, so you can be transgender if you want, you can be anything in this game. So I'm going to play as a male, but also the body type of a man, because... That is what I am. <laughs> Alright, so we can also like change the- oh, hello. Hang on, there's a wee crazy guy that I quite liked. Where is he? Where's the crazy- ah, there we go, the big crazy guy. Morning Wood, there we are. Of course that's my name. Why wouldn't it be? Oft, there we are. So like that guy's- yeah. I look like I've had some action. You see, the character Nigel Morning Wood is always quite, you know, unexpecting. So he has to be like just this you know, nice, casual person, and it turns out to be an absolute psychopath. So that is like him in the outside, and this is him in the inside. <laughs> oh, hello. That's like a, that's a Ron Swanson mustache. We're gonna be keeping that. <laughs> We're gonna be keeping that. All right, so I wanna, I wanna get gambling. Hang on, where's gambling? Where, where are you? Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course I'm gonna have that. Boom. Speech. Uh, so basically, so I'm just gonna be such a social person. Hang on, let me just, yeah, speech. Yes, of course. This is my character, Nigel Morningwood of the Blue Wing. I'm 25 years old, and I am... Where's my brains? I am quite intelligent, apparently. I'm quite an intelligent wee man. Look at the moustache. Of course I am. <laughs> so, you could do this a whole, like, fucking classic RPG dialogue thing, where it's like, it's not really a cutscene, but it's, you have to read the situation. It's like, do you want to go east, or do you want to go west? Alright, so we're gonna just skip this, I've already done it. So, escape to the window, so this is the controls, I already know the controls, like I said, I played the first hour of this game. Now what's funny, right, is that do not go in the, do not, I do not, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what happens, fuck it. The ladder staves, oh, so we need deafness 9. And... You fall with a yell, hit the platform, lose your senses and slip into the dark shaft. And you die. <laughs> Damn, I really need a new computer because it cannot run multiple things at once, especially when recording this game. See, because this is an early access game, for some reason all indie games are just like... They, they do not like my computer. I can play PUBG very fine, but when it comes to a wee thing like this... Oof, no. This cunt here though, I've tried to fight this cunt, and he just wants to fight me. It doesn't matter. You can try and talk, your, talk yourself out of this situation, he doesn't care, he just wants to kill you. So, Herman! Herman, what the- Hey! Who the hell are you? Just look around. Your eyes have already adjusted to the darkness. You can see a dimly lit console, a scrubbed floor, and damp pipes. The flashlight allows you to take a closer look at the stranger. Greenish particles flicker in the folds of his uniform. The technician seems to be avoiding your eye. Well, yeah, how do you, how do you even know? Because he's wearing fucking goggles. What are you looking at? There's no other side here. Just politely asks to repair the elevator. Okay, get on the elevator and I'll send you on your way. I'm going to switch the electricity on now. The elevator will move as soon as you reach the... One of the containers drops onto the floor. I didn't take them, it was Herman. It yeah, Herman was the thief. Ah, fuck it. 
And now the fight ensues. I have a strategy for this fight. You just punch him twice, and then you run over here. And basically, you just make him follow you, because then, if he follows you... Oh, never mind. Oh, you had time for two... Uh, he had time for a single hit there. Fantastic. There we are, got critical damage. Oh, he missed that time as well, so we're just gonna... Nah, he's standing still. Like, we search his body. Oh, he has bullets? Let me see what's in the suitcases. Why not? There is a black pin. How interesting. I, I don't care. <laughs> Visitor Zoom. Major. Oh, never mind. Let's continue. Welcome to the Magellan Station. Ah, she does it anyway. It's all good. Uh, register first with this looking Dean Rehet. Hello, Dean Rehet. All employees must first register. Come to the desk, please. I almost forgot the regulation greeting before registration. Just a second. Interrupt him and tell him about what happened on the elevator. Yeah, tell him. Fuck him. Let's do it in order of procession. First, we'll deal with the registration. All the rest can be discussed later. The speakers explode with a crackling sound over which the sound of a metro no grows louder. Dear employee, I, Administrator Dean Riet, welcome you under the dome on behalf of the Kronos Corporation. Let's go steal things. Oh, no, we can't steal things if there's a massive turret there. That's just not happening. Where do we go first? Let's, let's, let's refer to the, the quest dialogue system. Hang on. Oh, we have a reputation system. Forgot about that. Awesome. Oh, we're, we're working our way to respect. Oh, we also have like a wee map as well. This is cool. Oh yeah, this is such a follow-y sort of map. This is this is cool, I like this. Uh, to perform effectively in the desert, you need to wear a uniform in place of the standard jumpsuit. Get your uniform from Calvin McPherson at the uh, warehouse on the second floor. Oh no, you're another suit. I do not like suits, but you keep talking out loud. Do you need someone to talk to, Hen? The girl has a shiny badge reading... Lezia Rev... whatever, I don't know. Take a leaflet, the dome is your new home. An exciting read for the whole family. Am I fuck? Take no. Uh, refuse politely and take the leaf. It tell the silver to stuff it. Of course, I'm gonna do that. Floor level minus two. Yeah. By the way, guys, I've been recording this with my my webcam, and uh, apparently the webcam has not been working this entire time. So that's fun. That's interesting. Galvin McPherson. Hello. You're the man I need to see. Give him a high five. Of course I'm going to give him a high five. You return the gesture with a satisfying slap. The storekeeper gives you a thumbs up. You're my kind of person. Okay, let's get down to business. He seems like the kind of guy you speak like. Speak like that. Ask Calvin to barter with you. I don't have anything to barter with. Um, ask about Souvenir, the helm of the first settlers. I, I, I don't know what that is. Uh, blurt out a joke. <laughs> a joke, you say? Come on, then. Out with it. Ask for a nook. Ask for a cheeseburger and fries with root beer. Ah, oh, nah, he won't appreciate that. Ask for a... <laughs> a cudgel made with Forerunner's technology. Say that you're important business and jokes like that. Let's ask for a nook. Sorry, fire all doors in charge of rockets and he's not on the shift. Ask for a cheeseburger set. At this hour on taking drive through orders. Come back in your car and I'll help you out. I mean, you don't look like you're ready for the day, so let me explain. According to the rules, I should give you a short briefing, but technically it's optional. I am skipping the briefing, I do not need to know. <laughs> what, what I need to know? Where the pride? If you need a weapon, go to the armory in level 3, or minus level 3. You will also need additional protection, helmets and gloves. They are not included in the package, but they can be purchased from me separately. Thank you, Calvin. I like Calvin. Calvin's a cool guy. Oh, can I get in the car? Hang on, we're gonna be trying this out. You're not busy, come here. Uh, what? Oh yeah, what the fuck do you want, Ooh, yeah. I Thought you, I thought you became irrelevant. As you get closer, you read her badge. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna call you Ooh, yeah, a trainee administrator. She speaks in a strong Scandinavian, oh, a Scandinavian accent. Oh man, I need to, I need to like watch an episode of Vikings or something, I don't know. Listen, can you help me? Oh shit, that's just, I can't do it. I can't do it. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like look up a Scandinavian accent. Hang on. Like a Viking. Yes, tell me how to speak like a Viking. Listen, can you help me? Two oranges are skipping work. They are unpleasant people. I am afraid uh, to talk to them. The names are Erwin Immelman and Theodore Leary. Zveldov and McFe. Oh no! 
are expecting them. Oh, right, never mind. I thought it meant McPherson is like one of the bad people. I like McPherson. He's a cool guy. Let's them know. Okay, I'll let them know. I have my first side, my uh, my first side quest. Fantastic. Who's this cunt? Is he on my list? He is on my list. Let's go kick fuck out of him. That's what inspires a good workplace, doesn't it? <laughs> I love how that person like is. She sort of written like a like a German person would be written. An unremarkable Jupiter moon covered with a thin layer of desert dust that is parked in the bay. Oh, can I actually get in? You plop the receiver. Smells of gasoline. This warm. Look in the driver's seat mirror, look in the back seat, examine the dashboard. Oh, science! Oh, right, okay, start the engine. You turn the key and you quiet. Put the seatbelt on. Shift into gear, stop on the gas and drive it. Wait, can you actually do that? You think through it. Fucking what? We can, <laughs> we can drive out of this place? The car darts forward and quickly picks up the speed. A concrete wall rears out of the mark. I need to turn quickly, but the wheel is barely responding. Uh, rely on your dexterity and make do the faulty steering. With an incredible effort, you regain control of the truck, scraping up against the wall and knocking off the driver's side mirror. The truck flies through the open gate at uh, full speed, ripping through its hinges. You race through the tunnel and crash through the checkpoint barrier. <laughs> the cars have no time to react, snapping into view and the glare of your headlights. The blacks are rushing in different directions. Someone fires a volley of bullets, but as far as you can tell, nothing hits. The exit is around the corner. As you approach, you realize something has gone terribly wrong. Flashing red lights come to life uh, on the tunnel walls. What happens next is practically over the over before it begins. Heavy square hatches on either side of the road fall open uh, with a loud clank and high caliber turrets slide into position. They're fire already firing before you can hit the brakes. The blinding muzzle flash of the machine guns is the last thing you'll ever see. Deja vu. I've just been in this place before. Right, so we're back. Uh, yeah, we see the future. Fantastic. So I did get things for my uh, for my character. I, I have a uniform and shit. Apparently that's just like your naked, uh, your naked costume. There we are. I am officially a smurf. Fantastic. So we can we have to go deal with some cunt. We need to we need to go deal with uh, these you know these these fucking people. While passing the orange wing utility room, you stop and you when you hear a pair of quarrelling voices. On the other side of the door, two people are discussing a plan of some kind, of uh, for some kind of robbery, or at least you hear the word robbery loud and clear in amongst their bickering. Right, boys, I hear you're talking about robbery. I want in. <laughs> Please. I'm guessing you're the man I need to talk to. You do have a fabulous moustache and, and you're bald, so... What were we talking about? My friend Cowboy and I were discussing a film. It was, uh, Bugsy Malone. I look like, that's cool. Like, you see, the thing is, like, all your wings have, like, specific little, uh, dialogue options as well. Say that, uh, they could use your engineering skills. Refuse to get involved. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Apparently, they find your argument reasonable. The orange is lost in thought for a moment. You know, maybe. He looks into your eyes, scanning for a reaction. I'm Theodore. This is Cowboy. I work in the warehouse. Cowboy tinkers around and repairs. Here's our scheme. Cowboy distract the storekeeper and I'll take something we need. The security, but they won't check our bona fides. You know why? Uh, why? Cameras. There's too much traffic to check every single person. I just hope you don't shit your pants when the pressure's on. You don't shit your pants, right? I, I thought I just seen... That is a penis, right? I mean, that is a penis. Oh yeah, it is a penis, yes. <laughs> I was like, I know my fair share of toilet drawn dick. Oh, noodles, fantastic. That nah, fucking yes. They do not like me raiding their stashes, but it's all good. I'm just gonna take as much crap as possible. Okay, so door to security room. So that, all right, so the security room is literally just right up here. Hang on. Oh, you can, oh, we have a workbench. Fantastic. Right, so there's like toilets and shit. That's oh, <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, we never mind. That's just up there. So how do we? I ah, see. C C C. Right. Okay, I understand. So we need to follow this trail then. Hang on. Where's this lead? So aha. So we need to make our way there. Where Natasia uh, Davenport is. Uh, what's that? Anyone up here? Hey, open up. Uh, I'll open the goddamn door for these people. Oh, no, use a ladder, mate. What are you doing? 
Oh, shit, he's like dragging in a fucking body, okay. One of the fighters is wounded in the sec, he's lugging uh, duty officer, dispatcher, code 21, code 21, get a doctor. Uh, having dragged the wounded man to the garage, the fighter props him open to a wall. A doctor, stat. Oh, look at him, he looks like the fucking, oh, what, is, what does he look like again? He looks like an actor. Um, oh, I can't remember his name. You shifted gaze to the wounded man. Ah, oh, shit, he's fucked. I like, I like this game so far, to be fair. I um, I do really like it. I think the world and the story, no, that's interesting. Don't touch it. Oh, no, but then she's down there. Oh, she's... Uh, well, you know, it's a heist. Heists always go wrong. There's going to be at least one casualty. If she asks, I am a blue wing. It's fine. Do not ask any questions, okay? See, the main problem with this game, or, like, just these sort of games, uh, is, like, I know, I get why there isn't any voice acting, but, like... I think games like this would definitely benefit from voice acting, you know. I get why they don't do it. It's not just because of cost, it's because of like just immersion, because people like to have their own voices and stuff. It's like reading a book in that sense, you know. Uh, leave the cameras alone. Oh wait, ventilation! Oh no, because then they- uh, yeah, because then they'll check the ventilation cameras and then they'll see that I've been like walking through and shit. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna- yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna turn off the ventilation cameras, because I think... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna disable that. It's kind of good because, like, see all this stuff that I'm doing now, I didn't actually do that in my first hour. <laughs> so this is like, so I, 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 cause I just went on with the, and doing, like, the main quest and stuff like that. So I've never, I, I've never actually talked to anyone and did all the side stuff. Well, I, I hope everything's crystal clear now, bullshit. Wait for us after the operation, we'll meet you in the car park. Harness the horse, cowboy, come on. Boom. Technically, they have went back to work. Technically, they like I I, I did my duty. They are back in the in the warehouse. So yeah. Uh, so what shit did I get? Oh man, I got. All right, hang on. Um, yeah, what did I get from that? What was that? Well, yeah, what was that haste about? Is that? I feel like I didn't get anything from that. I cannot wait to get into the open world. I think that's gonna be fun. I'm actually curious how much of the early access there is in this game. By the way, everyone, I probably should have said this right now, this game is in early access. So yes, there is, there is that. Oh, hell fucking low, is that power armor? Ancient construction. Oh, there's a white person. Alright, okay. Oh, <laughs> that just sounds so wrong. <laughs> I do like the armor design. Let's just take a wee look at it, look at that. Boom. That is cool. It's, it's reminiscent of the power armor, but it's like, it's definitely its own thing. It looks really, yeah, it looks really cool. I like it. Hang on, I'm gonna... How do I leave this out then? Do you copy? My name is Martin Kingsley. I'm the Chief Officer of Mag Majorling Base. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our team. Sorry I couldn't be there in person. Your mission is the Nashville Research Station. While preparing the materials for this mission, I came across a short documentary film about the scientific complex. Every day our researchers uncover more and more of the dome's secrets. There is no doubt the underground structures known as objects are collated according to some pattern. Uh, though the possibility of discovering any relics important to science was for a long time considered insignificant. Watch on. Why chalk lines drawn by an invisible hand from a scheme of the dome before your eyes? By 1972, however, a number of objects tens of times more significant from than our early discoveries came to light. The construction of dedicated archaeological bases alongside the objects began. Ankara was built in May of 1972, and within an hour and within a half a year, Boston and Desu were also brought into service though the biggest discovery was yet to come. Apparently my mission is to investigate stuff, blah 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 blah. There's a truck waiting for you, fucking good, let's go. You're leaving Majorless Station, when you leave Majorless Station, you be, pre pre be prepared for the story to begin, to develop in an unpredictable way. Oh, that sounds exciting. The world under the dome is a dangerous place, and we strongly recommend stock on food, medicines, ammo, if you have any fun unfinished tasks, oh shit, okay, confirm. So I'm about to leave. You're the novice going to Nashville, right? Uh, what's your name? Uh, ignore, <laughs> just get introduced to I'm going to the cabin. Uh, glad to meet you, I've gone nuts. You want some candy? Yeah, I'll take some candy, motherfucker. Let's go. Here we go, God willing. Here we are, going in, we're actually leaving. We're going into the world. Good shit. So I like, so the map is sort of similar to like Fallout and stuff like that. 
in the way you're traveling. So that's cool. You don't make it to Nashville at the low saddle uh, shaped mountain past the engine over here. It's in Rapley. The truck stops. Clara opens the hood and steps back from the steam radiator. I've never seen anything like this. The tubes, gaskets, and everything rubber has turned to dust. As if the car was 100 years old and, the st and that storm is getting closer. Right then guys, that was in case. If you guys want to see me play this on more on the channel, let me know. Because I'm actually having good fun in the game. I'm going to be playing it anyway. So it's like, if you want me to record it, let me know down in the comments below. And I'll definitely uh, see about recording more episodes and stuff like that. And just getting you get used to the game. Getting you interested. <laughs> but yeah, if you are interested by this episode. And if you're interested in this game. I'll leave a link to the Steam page down in the description below. I just want to emphasize though that this game is in early access. So if you do not mind uh, this game being in early access. Then go ahead. Go get it. It's 20 quid. Go support the developer because that is what you're doing when you help them out in early access. And this, and the game dev, and the game devs are really cool guys. I, I, I like them. I, uh, I like their uh, approach to things. And this game already has mostly positive reviews on Steam as well. So, you know, it's sort of trustworthy. That's why. That's why it's cool. I don't know how much of the game is in here though. Uh, but yeah, they do have a roadmap out. They're going to be releasing three patches and then releasing the game fully by. I can't remember what day it is, but, you know, the game is looking good so far, the mechanics are decent, everything's cool, everything's awesome, and it has quite an interesting story so far, I'm actually quite gripped in the story, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I shall see you all later. Uh, bye bye <laughs>